Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Janath Rakta Riva. Today I will be taking on respiratory medicine on behalf of Dr. Academy. I welcome you all. So I have been uh, advised to talk about some guidelines just to summarize. First of all, respiratory medicine is one of the most important topics. The major subjects, you can expect around 12 to 15 questions. Sometimes what they do is when RCP questions become very much apparent or more predictable, they change the question patterns. So they give you more questions from one system and less questions from the other system. They do not always give you 15 questions from cardiology or 15 questions from respiratory medicine, exactly 15 questions from neurology, not like that. Sometimes they love to mix and match. So in respiratory medicine, as we have always been learning about respiratory medicine from our MBBS curriculum so you can expect a lot of questions coming from this particular section and also lung cancer can be thought of a part of geriatric medicine which is a part of specialty that is covered in both MRCP part 1 and part 2 written exam. So uh, be prepared that at least 12 to 15 questions will come from respiratory medicine and these will be scattered in both part A and part B of the MRCP part 1 examinations. Now, how to prepare yourself for this MRCP part one examination? Although there is no specific time period uh, and there is no guideline uh, as to when you should take this examination, however, for beginners, especially for fresh medical graduates who do not have quite the clinical experience, my personal recommendation would be try to take preparation for six months. During this time, what you can do is you can take classes from us and at the same time you can practice question bank by yourself and then uh, sit for mock test which is arranged by Doctor Academy. This is the best way to prepare yourself for the final exam. And for advanced learners, for example, if you're in the post-graduation training scheme in uh, generally in Bangladesh, India, or in the UK, or anywhere, if you're doing any post-graduation training which is under any clinical supervision, in that case, you can take a little bit less time. For example, three to four months will do. However, if you're already done with any postgraduate training or if you're done with any postgraduate degree or diploma, for example, in Bangladesh, a lot of FCPS holders or MD residents, after completing their training or residency program, they wish to take on this examination. So in that case, as you are a very advanced learner, I would say that only one to two month preparation can also give you a plenty of exposure regarding this examination. Whatever the length of your uh, or the duration of your uh, study preparation is, it's always best to keep yourself thinking like you are learning from this MRCP curriculum. Do not always get so overconfident that you get most of the answers wrong. Never do that. You should always consider yourself as an examinee, not an examiner whichever level you are and try to take the examination as much seriously as possible. Now regarding examination preparation, uh, especially as we're talking about the respiratory medicine, I would say the very high yielding topics are usually the different guideline management of the obstructive airway disease such as asthma and COPD, lung cancer, pneumonia, pneumocystis gerovici, and certain restrictive lung disease, for example, extrinsic allergic alveolitis, this is also very important, and certain vasculitic conditions such as Wegener's granulomatosis and Chark Strauss syndrome. These are some of the most important or high yielding topic from a respiratory medicine portion. Mm -hmm.